It's raining. I don't have much time. He's coming for me to make me regret what I didn't do. Hopefully someone will find my journal as I make my last entry to tell my part of the story. It was finally the first day of my last year in school. I walked casually into my homeroom a few minutes before the bell would ring. I spied out of the corner of my eye a new kid. He seemed plain and simple. I walked over and said to him, Hi, I'm Annie. I reached to shake his hand, but instead he ignored my offer. He looked at the wall and replied, My name is Lee. Oh, cool, I said. Now, Lee seemed to be ignoring me. I moved my books to a desk and sat there. Finally, the bell rang and class began. At lunch, all five of the boys from my class crowded around Lee. I could tell Lee hated the attention. Then, Lee pulled out a girly looking journal and started to write in it. Everyone looked at Lee, shocked. Ha ha ha, you have a diary. Jordan hollered, laughing so hard tears started to form in his eyes. Kyle added, and it's pink and girly. I could see the blush coming into Lee's cheeks. Hey guys, come on, stop it. I said quietly. They didn't hear me. Even Garrett said, and you guys thought I was weird. Everyone except for me was laughing. Lee looked like he might throw up. He ran straight to the bathroom. Everyone still laughed. But once the bell rang, everyone ran to class. Lee kept getting picked on by the boys in my class. But one day, a week before Halloween, Lee said to them, and I think even to me, Ha, you might be laughing now, but when Halloween comes, I'll show you all. When Lee had said this, his brown hair seemed to raise a little, like a cat's when it hisses. Halloween finally came. And as my last year at school, I decided I would go to the trunk or treat in my Attack on Titan Survey Corps costume I had recently gotten. All I had wanted was free candy and just to be there with my other classmates because it was our last year. But I had gotten there a little late and at first I saw nothing because of the eerie fog that clouded the ground. I had thought that no one was there, but whenever I saw glowing red eyes appear from the fog and darkness, I knew I wasn't alone. The eyes seemed to move closer and I could hear heavy breathing. Fear immediately took over me and I ran. I ran into a nearby field and looked back. At first nothing appeared, but then I heard heavy footsteps and saw those dreadful red eyes appearing again. This time the creature was exposed by the moonlight. The first thing I saw was that gut-wrenching face. It had teeth that protruded over its nasty lips that were covered in blood. The blood of which I could only suspect were my fellow classmates and teachers. The nose was human-like, but pointed and wide. The eyes, as I said earlier, were red. Its face had lots of wrinkles and warts. I could see it had ash-colored skin. There was also brown fur lining the face and the rest of the body. It seemed very muscular and wore shorts and a torn shirt. Hello, Annie, it said in a demonic voice. That's a nice costume you're wearing. It's a shame it'll be ruined. It smiled as it got closer. I was completely frozen in fear, not knowing what to do. The thing brought up its hand when it was close enough and was about to scratch my face off. Then my adrenaline kicked in and I ran to the school library. Something about that horrifying creature had seemed familiar. The voice somewhat, and the fur coloring. I think I had confused it though, because I came through the back door of the building and had gotten there faster than it. Which leads to where I am now. I know Lee will soon figure out where I am. If only I had stood up for him more when he was getting picked on. Then maybe I wouldn't be in this mess. Maybe I could have lived the life I dreamed of one day living. But now, for not helping someone who needed me, I have doomed myself. Now, he is coming through the main doors. I can feel every hair on my body stand as Lee comes closer and closer. Hello, Annie, I heard his demonic voice say. Happy Halloween. Then, my world went black.